Okay, let's move on now and try the next one here on our list, the boosted decision tree. So if you've been watching my other uh, videos from uh, starting with the regression models, you'll remember the decision tree here, decision forced, we call it there. Actually, you know, I'm going to go out of order a little bit. Let's do decision, uh, let's do forest first and talk about that one. Okay, oops, connect those dots. Let's go over to the... Uh, explanation there of two class decision forest. All right, so what's the, dis the difference between these and all the others? So if you remember decision forest, it's based on creating these uh, dichotomous uh, separation among attribute value pairs or features and, and values. So decision forests are great because they're fast, maybe not as fast as some of the simpler ones like a, you know, logistic regression or naive Bayes but much faster than a neural network, and they're also very accurate. So uh, sometimes I've had a lot more success with decision forest really than neural networks, but generally speaking, the neural network should be more accurate, but it's gonna take a, a lot longer than the decision forest. So again, it's a great combination of speed and accuracy. Let me uh, share some of the other great things about decision forest too. So uh, first of all, you, remember, you may remember before we talked about these ensemble methods where it's using multiple methods uh, at once to get better accuracy. Uh, they're also a, a non-normalized, so they're um, what's non-parametric, uh, which means that we can relax that assumption about a normal distribution that we had back with logistic regression. We don't have to assume, assume we can have uh, varied distributions instead of a normal distribution, skewness, kurtosis, uh, heteroscedasticity, those aren't issues um, as much of the decision forest. The other great advantage is this one right here. You can have non-linear decision boundaries. So it also relaxes that assumption of a re linear relationship among the variables. So um, we like these a lot. Let's go ahead and use one of these. Uh, back here, we've got it. I should have gotten it running while I was talking. Let's go ahead and pause this. Okay, here we go. Let's evaluate our model, visualize. Cool. Okay, accuracy and precision. Let's grab these scores and compare this to what we were getting before. Right here, here we go. Uh, decision forest, accuracy, boom, look at that. Much better. Precision, also much better. Cool, that's it for decision forest for now.